how could I not share the pleasure birds bring to people, you know, because he's got me out of a pretty deep hole. This eclectus parrot isn't just a pet, he's Michael Clancy's saviour. I love him. He's gorgeous. Yeah, and he knows him. Seven years ago, this father of two was working a dream world and says every day felt like a holiday. It was like my own stage show and I, I wasn't a manager that sits in the office and hides away. I wanted to be out there with the people and my life was full, like I thrived. But all that changed on October 25, 2016. Sadly, I can confirm that four people have died on the Thunder River rapid ride this afternoon. I can remember it like yesterday. I recall even the colours, the smells, the noises, the helicopter, everything from that day. It never, never leaves me. And seeing children and knowing they've lost loved ones but not tell them, it's something I'll never forget. To make matters worse, some people turned on the Dreamworld staff. Joe Publi could be putrid, and the emails and the abuse we copped, we had people spit on us, we had people waiting at our cars for us. I decided I couldn't do it anymore, and I just hid. I hid from the world, and I hid from everybody. And if I went out once a week, I'd spend six days preparing to go out that one day, and then spend the next six at home. The public's rage even affected Michael's children. A teacher revealing his son and daughter had been abused. A child in the sandpit was telling Riley, my son, that his dad was a murderer. Tegan stepped in and said, it's not true, it was an accident. The parent came over and said to Tegan and Riley, if your dad's big enough and ugly enough to work there, he can cop everything he deserves. I said to Tegan, why didn't you tell me? At nine years old, she said, Dad, I didn't want to upset you any more than you were. Now, if that didn't break me down and make me feel like a failure as a father for not identifying that, the, the, the range of emotions was a roller coaster in itself. When he stopped working, then I really saw how it was affecting him. And it was just really, I don't know, heartbreaking to see just a beautiful person just absolutely destroyed. Michael was taking 29 different prescription tablets and on the verge of a breakdown when he made an impromptu visit to the local pet store. I saw this bird called Archie, and he was so weird, I knew he was suited to me. He was just so abstract. Beautiful eclectus parrot, and he's like a Dr. Seuss character. I thought, that's my bird. <laughs> good boy. You're a good boy. If I didn't get out of bed and attend to Archie, the neighbours would knock on the front door and say, turn your bird down, because he was so bloody noisy. So he gave me a purpose to get up and function again. So as the time went by, I said to my wife, you know, this is pretty cool. Why don't I breed a couple and give them away to people we know? She said, absolutely, God bless her. Before too long, Michael had amassed a flock of more than 500 therapy birds. It was the beginning of the aptly named Parrots for Purpose. He's mummy's boy. He is. Skittles is just my best friend, man. He's just special, like, all rounds. Jade's PTSD and depression led to drug abuse. She was at her lowest end when she was introduced to Skittles. It's changed my life. Just, It's just nice to be able to come home to something that loves you and is excited to see you. For the first time in a very long time, I actually feel great. I feel content as well. We're maybe 30% along our journey. What we see today is just the beginning. Um, there's so much more to go. We need to get this Australia-wide. Why would I do anything else? You know, I love it. I really thrive on it. In the last three years, Michael's introduced more than 700 birds to people with disabilities and mental illness. And what was once an unselfish private venture has become a fully-fledged charity with a hugely popular open day every Saturday. I've seen people that wouldn't go out of their home for four years come here once a week now. And as they leave, they say to their carer, are we booked in for next week? I've seen little children that wouldn't talk when they first came here run from their cars now up to the door to grab a bird and interact with people. He's just all around just a good guy and I can just say my dad makes people happy for a living and that is enough for anyone and that's something I'm proud of as well. We can't make the entire world a better place. All we want to do is make the world a little bit happier one bird at a time. Wow! Isn't that beautiful? So my brother, 
is on the Gold Coast and he told me about Michael. Yeah. What an amazing man. And, and taking something really terrible that happened to him yeah. and turning it into something magnificent, not just for him but for other, yeah. people. other people. Amazing yeah. people are amazing, they aren't, are. aren't they? they the are. bad are. ones Pet are rotten. But we, won't, <laughs> we, won't, we won't worry about them. Well, if you want to help support Michael or learn more about the amazing work he is doing with the Therapy Birds, please do head to our website for more info.